Hello everyone, welcome to my first impression, live action review, all that good stuff of Mayatsu Orphan Hagaritabi or Sorcerer's Stabber Orphan, which is then a remake of like an old anime, which is based on the manga, right? So, you know, you know, you know how it goes. And uh, it's not a good, I have never seen the original one, so I haven't seen the old anime, and also been some video games on, right? Um, so it probably has some popularity to it then, if you can remake it. But at the same time though, I mean, I've heard about this anime, like in the game, but I never have anyone has ever recommended anime to me. And, you know, I know a lot of nerds, right? a lot of tacos, yeah. No, but seriously, right, I have, you know, I spent a lot of time, right, in this kind of, like, you know, anime clubs, and man clubs, and so on, right? and never has anyone ever recommended this anime to me. I never heard it ever mentioned. So that gives me a little bit like, well, I mean, someone has to like it if they can remake it, but, you know, I'm just saying, right, I'm just saying, I think that's a fair point to make, right, that... Uh, not saying that, you know, ad populus, so to speak, popularity is the correct thing, but no one's ever... But I think, it's a, I think it's a different thing, though. It's one thing saying that everyone keeps saying this is a good anime, it has to be a good anime. That's one argument, right? Uh, that's a fallacy, because it's ad populus. But the argument that, like, no one ever said it, which is also kind of like ad populus, because in the fallacy of saying that no one likes it. But it's more like, I'm not saying that no one likes it, I'm just saying that I never met anyone that likes it, right? And usually, most animes and old mangas, uh, people recommend to me all the time. For example, last year we had Calico Circus, right? I never read the manga. I had a friend mention the manga to me probably like 10 years before I saw the anime. He was like, this is a great manga. I never read it back then, but you know, it was in my back head, right? So most of those manga names, anime names, so on, right? For example, Black Clover, right? That uh, friends recommended me that manga for a year before the anime, at least, right? Several friends before the anime started. That's how it usually is, right? So I'm just, you know, from my experience, uh, so I was so fan out there, right? But this anime, so we'll see, we'll see. Open my, I'm just saying my, my impression here, we have like a remake. Like for example, I had Fruit Basket last year. A lot of people recommended Fruit Basket, a lot of people. So that's a big difference. But anyway, three, two, one, and go. So like I'm super negative now. <laughs> so like I'm like, I'm just like, this anime can't be good. Yeah, so like I'm incredibly negative now, but... Um, you know, I'm just speaking my uh, my mind is always right. Yeah, I'm also, it might be an amazing anime, but I'm just, I have my I have my you know worries if okay someone is transforming to like a I'm gonna guess dragon because it's like fantasy, so I'm guessing dragon probably. Yeah, like she's turning in like a reptile hand. Fairy tale. Here we go. Yeah. She's killed Sensor here. Yeah, but I mean, if she has a kind of dragon hand, right? Or reptile hand, claw, in general. My oh, nose gone though. Okay, there's like a flashback. That was weird. <laughs> so the flashback in like a minute before we just saw it. Oh yeah, it's like a dragon or like a gargoyle or something on that, uh, on the sword there. Whoa. Yeah, here we go. Direct information. Or something demon maybe I guess. Yeah, no, it's more like yeah, no, no, it's just a dragon. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so you turn into dragon. I guess he wants revenge against her. That's just the most obvious thing, right? Going after this dragon that betrayed him, killing Sensei. Yeah. Okay, they're all out. I mean, I guess it has a kind of magic, right? This anime. I don't know. It's a fantasy anime. Right? Fantasy shonen anime. Yeah. Okay, they're all like blasting the dragon. They're like damn dragons. Yeah, they're all blasting it. Is this gonna save the dragon? He's like, no, that's my girlfriend that killed my sensei, but I still love her. 
probably. Yeah. So he seems to think either well emotional or thinks he can save her, right? Yeah. But she killed Sensei though. Maybe she'll be a little bit angry about that, right? Yeah, they heard a dragon from the opening, or from, <laughs> from Nessa being in the opener, yeah. Hmm, pretty good course now. Okay, these two blonde people are clearly gonna join his, uh, his party, yeah. This blonde girl and this cute little kid there, they're clearly gonna join his party. And then there's some random puppets or something, I don't know. Automatas, yeah. This fighting here in the... Golems, maybe. Man, they all have like really dark hair <laughs> and the same clothing. They almost every one looks the same in the whole thing, except that they make out his party. Like all these like monk people, they look like they, have, they almost look like some character. It's like seven characters in a row with like different shades of dark brown. Yeah, it's like dark brown hair. Really dark brown hair. Blue dark brown hair, yeah. It's like... Okay. <laughs> okay. Yeah, that wasn't very... I don't know. I mean, it's the same thing as what before he... Before he entered it, right? But yeah. It's like... Yeah, may may maybe not. <laughs> I don't know, but they all look so incredibly similar. Jesus Christ. But yeah, you have dragons and you have... And it's clearly out for revenge, right? I guess mainly, not revenge, but like, she's like... The girl he liked turned into a dragon, right? Yeah. Probably. But I think what blade pushes came with this dragon blade, though. Ah, and he has, of course, the, like a, might be from the, from, the, from the sword, right? Yeah, it looks like the sword's dragon thing here. Yeah. But man, it's oh, so familiar! I'm sorry, but I'm again like, who's the voice actor? God, that was a character! Well, I'm thinking about this whole episode now. God damn it, I can't figure out who it is. This is definitely what I heard pretty recently. Yeah. Who is doing this voice? She's like, you're beating up kids? No, their kids are apparently wanted. But she's wearing like a... Yeah, like, but she's a cop, but she's wearing like, like a schoolgirl outfit, or kind of like a... Yeah, like, isn't it like the medieval time? <laughs> and she's bad for job, apparently. <laughs> And said it feels really old. It's even like a trigon vibe from like the graphical who, yeah. It, it gives me like this kind of like how they are doing the character size with the background and the color scheme. That gives me like this like early, like, sorry, late 90 or like early 2000 vibe. Um. Okay, it's gonna heal someone that she hit with her. <laughs> Weird oppai moment, yeah. <laughs> Weird boob moment there.
Yeah. Could be the part from the opening, or something like a blonde catalyst. Yeah, I mean, clearly he has that from the sword, right? It has to be. Now he's like, why do you have the thing there? Yeah, it's like, it has to be it took from the... Yeah, well, learn magic, boy. I mean, he's clearly a face fan. <laughs> he clearly wants to like teach me magic, right? So, yeah, I might recruit him then because I mean, there was some blonde kid in the open there, so. Yeah, and maybe like a princess character as well, something like that. Man, this kid also feels like, you know, some old anime. Yeah, it feels like very old. It feels like I, if you get stepped back 20 years from the, in, in, in the past here, it really feels like this kind of like annoying kid. And we have the squirrel thing, like a Sailor Moon thing. Yeah, like that kind of like, you know, weird glasses thing. I feel like everything in the cat design feels like, you know, yeah. They're very bland. They're very, yeah, they're very bland. Like, it's... It's like with the opening with all the monk characters or whatever they are. Priests, monks, something. Clerics. With all the clo cloaks, they look the same, yeah. It truly feels like I stepped back 20 years <laughs> in the past. Like like I'm in my early teens again. Yeah, I'm so young again suddenly. With no beard and, you know, I have long hair, I'm thinking about it. <laughs> Short hair, but I had long hair too back in the day, so. Yeah. I mean, these characters, they all look very, very similar. I mean, this is like the opposite of Black Clover, where every character is like super, you know, oh, we have this hairstyle and yeah. Or like, I don't know, but like more modern shots. My Academia as well, so on, yeah. Every character is more like, you know, ex expression of it, yeah. I'm not saying it have to be that, but I'm saying that this anime for the first episode, they have the exact same clothing, almost same hair color, uh, same height, same as well, yeah, same body shape. It's, uh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, here she is, as a dragon, yeah. So I wonder what mad it have. So far everyone's just showing like projectiles and stuff. Yeah, I feel like there's like fire, wind, ice, water, but it's the same kind of thing in my opinion. Like you're just throwing it, yeah. Not really uh, like different except the elements, but like you know, obviously. Oh his voice is familiar too. God damn it. Yeah, Natalie, yeah. I wonder if she has her memories. Maybe she's like a mindless dragon, right? A mindless beast. That is how she seems, at least. Maybe she does have some kind of 
memory of her humanity deep down. Potentially. Oh no. Even this storytelling feels <laughs> Yeah, I'm just like Oh man, yeah, this feels like sort of an old way to you know have like an episode one, like really low beat, showing some random station between him helping these people here for some reason. Yeah, it's like uh, a lot like that. I don't know. I mean, all this level funny that's funny. Usually, I'm the guy that laughs at everything, right? But this uh, the today's video is like, meh. It's not like it's not super funny. I'm just like, uh, okay. She's clearly the girl from the opening, yeah. This happy, blonde, cute princess kind of character. Or young lady or something, yeah. Yeah, and she's a ginky. He's like, yeah, hello, yeah, let's nice meet you, yeah. You know, she's all like, yay. He's like, yeah, pretty cute, yeah. But she's clearly going to be his, you know, companion, lover. Yeah, but not really doing with her. But, you know, you know, like, like a girlfriend, but not, but, you know, without the benefits, yeah. <laughs> that's, that's, what, that's what she's going to be like, clearly. Definitely. She's definitely going to be with partner, for sure. Mm. Very Swedish, yeah. Blue eyes, you know, blue eyes, blonde hair. Yeah. A proper lady. Well, I mean, he's there for like an engagement thing, right? So <laughs> nice. He's so mad in anger. That's how you should do it. Okay, she's a kind of fourth wall, Yoxi. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> yeah, she's a kind of fourth wall. Okay, it's a little funny now. She's there, a little funny now. Yeah. A little more interesting now. A little more interesting now, definitely. Yeah, I can repair the. Hmm. Clearly the dragon pendant is Fight his dragon ex girlfriend again, right? Yeah, he got short hair at least. <laughs> well, see, this guy's red hair, at least he's better. <laughs> no, I don't know, but oh man, man, he looks so different because he's red hair. Yeah, he looks like he's a completely different world. Man, the quality of her hairstyle is really weird here in this. Uh... 
Uh. Now they will back to the sword here. Mm, yeah, it's like, have you seen that dragon thing? Yeah. Mm. This is. What would his plan really is though? I don't really explain how he, he... Oh! Dragon comes to him instead! Perfect! Yeah, okay! Much easier like this! Much easier if the dragon comes to me, yeah! We have to find her! Yeah, orphan. Yeah, I'm the orphan. Yeah, it's like a weird name because it sounds like he's supposed to be an orphan, right? Like an actual, you know, an orphan. <laughs> yeah! Yeah, and the dragon is landed in the middle of everything. Yeah, back to his. Okay, so the dragon is like magic to breathe fire. And it's a sword. <laughs> Has that some intelligence on the dragon? Yeah, picks up the sword, right? Or being controlled at least by something. Yeah. I guess it's gonna like stop them again from shooting down the dragon, even though the dragon looks really dangerous. Yeah. Oh, I can beat them up instead now. <laughs> That's pretty good, actually, yeah! Now, this is how the entry started, yeah, like, this was pretty good. It's... Mm -hmm. Pretty good music. And they always send their attacks to the dragon. And he's gonna block it again, right? Exactly like the episode, probably. Yeah, he's probably doing the same thing how it started. Very likely, right? Yeah, and to like send his, you know, attack in, in the middle there. Yeah. <laughs> nice fireworks and stuff. But it's like the exact same like last time. We're like, God damn it, bro, we haven't learned anything yet. She's an evil dragon now, probably. Come on. They did the exact same thing with him. <laughs> in earlier, yeah, like they feel that they should have learned that now. Like, shoot him down first. Try to find out his face first and then shoot the dragon or, yeah, or something, I don't know. On the same time, though, when, he, when he's like, don't do it, this guy should turn around, like, so he's attacking. Not that good warrior, she just. Yeah. Pretty lost their uh, composer immediately, right? Not the best, maybe. Uh, let's see if Breakers is out, trying to see that. So I'm still waiting for this Breakers to be dropped. I think it's come out today, but. I haven't seen it anyway. Okay. Yeah, that's my message. <laughs> I have a guy keep writing to me. Alright, whatever. whatever. Um, ending. Very pointless. <laughs> and I don't know, but I mean, come on. The ending is just a gif. <laughs> the ending is the same thing. Come on, it's a gift from him he's writing. It's a, yeah, there are little characters here. We do see them there. And yeah, here's a little more those kids again. Uh, probably gonna have, you know, the cute girl. There we go, yeah. The cute girl, of course, is gonna join him, and the boy is gonna, you know, be his, I don't know, student or something. Yeah, apprentice. Yeah, so a little hint there to all the characters. Well, obviously, I mean, obviously the blonde girl is gonna, you know, 
yeah, I'm gonna follow him now after her house got ruined. She's gonna be like, I wanna help you to maybe save the dragon that hurt my house. <laughs> but but yeah, so orphan, first impression. I mean, not very good to be honest, right? Not very good. And I don't wanna like dislike and I know there are probably also fans out there because obviously the anime has been remade again, so it has to be some fans. <laughs> so that that sounded even more negative. Now I mean I didn't like hate it, but it really felt like a step twenty years back in, in into the past where not just how the character design is pretty meh. Uh, it's pretty meh. yeah, and I mean I don't mind Orphan, I don't mind so much all characters, but like all the man characters, they all just like the same. Yeah, they all look like kind of the, the random bad guys in Black Clover, I guess. And they also have magic throwing guys, and they just look like this, uh, you know, NPC kind of characters. Yeah, they all look very NPC. But the problem, and what I mean here to really clarify, right? The problem is, used to have these like random monks that he beat up, and they have a very NPC look. But even the other characters from the same guild or whatever you call it, the same group of people, they also had basically the same appearance. So even even the leaders looked almost the same, it's like a slight difference, maybe a little longer hairstyle, maybe a little more darker blue than like black blue or something, yeah, it's slightly different, but they looked very, very similar, they basically opening, when you saw them showing this like, here are the, you know, like the evil shirt people, or not, you know, whatever you can call them right there, it's back here in the opening, uh, I can watch it again here, uh, so in the opening, you kind of see, his long hair, and she appears, she has the same outfit, but long hair, then the other appears after, you know, like, basically you have the two characters, like one appears with like a long hair, right? And this, you know, the cowboy outfit. And then the next character in the opening, the very next character that appears, have the exact same outfit, but more, almost the same hair color, but shorter hair, right? Yeah, but a little shorter hair. <laughs> so, it's like, and then the girl appears between them, and she was before that, like, kind of in the side, also with the same... And then another character appears over the first character, the, the, the third character. Then a fourth character appears with the exact same hairstyle, exact same clothing, but his hairstyle is a little darker brown. Yeah, like, I mean, I'm not joking. Look at this part of the opening here, right? These are two different characters, I think. Or they are the same character. I don't think so, because he's like black, he's like dark brown, black, and he's like brown. Uh, so here it is, yeah. Like, they're, they're two different characters, I think so, and they're, they're the exact same. Yeah, well, well, yeah, it has to be different. Why well, would well, they both turn to cameras and towers? And then the guy with red hair appears. And then another character appears next to him with also like the same outfit with black hair. And then we had the guy with shorter hair. So, <laughs> I mean, uh, whatever. But they all look very, very similar. They all look very, very similar. And that's not how we. And if you look at like, you know, what's called te telegraphic character design, which I, well, I'm one thing I am a big. Uh, not a fan of, but I, but I use also in my own work when I work and I design character and so on. Um, but it's like telegraphic character design means that you know, telegraphic is something like I'm telegraphing, whole of thing, if I fight someone, right? And I'm telegraphing what I'm gonna do to you, that's a mistake, right? I'm telling you, um, I'm gonna kick you, yeah. Uh, and telegraphic uh, is something you, you see, right? You see it directly, it's easy to, uh, it's very transparent, right? And when it comes to character design, then I've always used my academia, right? It's a good example for very good, uh, this is off side right? But very good telegraphic character design. Because see, there's a Todoroki on the right up there, right? it's in the corner up there. Uh, when you see Todoroki, and I've done these tests on people, both at my workplace and uh, people I know, so I've done the tests several times like that. And if you saw like Todoroki to someone that hasn't read or seen my academia, almost everyone can guess his powers because he has like a you know a nice and a red face right there and i want to spoil my academia here but if you see to the rocky you can immediately figure out that he has like ice and fire power because his face is like half ice half fire right and they even call him like so and then of course names like bakugo miss explosion in japanese yeah so that's like extreme telegraph inside almost almost too much right because it's always like on the nose and if you see like black clover same thing there with like a guy called silva has some kind of like quicksilver or silver based magic power. Right? Oh yeah. And a guy called like Fugelong, Fugi is like Spanish for fire, he has fire powers. <laughs> it's like, yeah, you know, but but that's good because that means that you don't have to spend that much time. That's kind of the modern shorter way to do it, right? You don't have to spend that much time of developing the characters uh, or explaining their powers and the backstory because you can just see it immediately. Uh, that guy has fire powers and it makes sense. He has like the, the hair is like a red magma orange fire too, right? Um, 
And another great sample that in Black Clover is uh, this is gonna be a big spoiler if I explain this thing, but there is two characters in Black Clover, someone spot Black Clover, but two characters in Black Clover that have like reverse and like trap magic and like you know, counter magic, right? Like counter spell magic. And both of them are very like pro you know, taunting and very much like, yeah, you can't hit me. They're very, you know, provocative, right? Yeah, they're like, yeah, come on man. They kinda of like that. And if you had the kind of Joker Jester character, of course that character is likely gonna have some kind of like, you know, counter mad except in Bartolomeo in One Piece. I'm not saying more than that, but you know, if you see Bartolomeo, he's like a very taunting, a very annoying character. So he's probably gonna have some kind of like, you know, oh I can I can counter your magic by this thing, yeah. And that makes sense because you see this Jester character and they're gonna have the kind of power because people are gonna attack them, you know, aggressively. Then he'd be like, no, it doesn't work because of this reason, right? Yeah. So, and your mind immediately then you just accept that the power works, yeah. So the author doesn't have to spend that much time on, you know, developing and explaining how the magic works or how the different works or whatever, because you kind of already have in your, in your back of your mind. You're already like, yeah, that makes sense. He looks like a trickster kind of character. It has trickster kind of magic. It just kind of makes sense, right? Um, and so that, that's kind of like the modern way to do it, right? The Clover and Academia are very good at telling the African side. And they have shorter storylines, for example, One Piece and Naruto and so on. They have longer storylines to explain people's powers, even, right? Because it's like, well, this power to this. Here's the Sharingan, it's like 10, 50 pages of that, yeah. Less than that, right? When you have more telling the African side. That's a big thing, I would say, about both animes. Uh, but this anime, then, a uh, very low point as possible, but this anime then has like the reverse, yeah. And I really mean, I feel it has the reverse. Every character looks the same, and all their magic was pretty boring. And I have to say, that I feel the magic was a bit like, you know, I'm sending a fire magic, and that's just like ice magic, and then wind magic. And they were all doing that in both of the magic fights. They were both just like, uh, like blasting some kind of like Kamehameha, but the Kamehameha is either wind or fire, right? But th that for me isn't very interesting magic if they just have the exact same magic. Instead of having like, I have ice powers, so I can like create a blizzard that the dragon, and something that's like, I can have lightning, I can summon like a lightning bolt with the dragon, right? A thunderbolt with the dragon. And one guy, like, I have fire, man. I can send like fire boss with the dragon. That would have looked so much better. That would have been so much more interesting. Even that, and that's very simple, right? That's a very simple way of using magic. I'm not even coming up with some amazing ideas here. Let's say that the very basic ideas of someone having used, you know, I can summon lightning, I can create a blizzard, it's like a hailstorm at you. I can do this thing, right? Or I can like create this water bubble, right? Whatever, like a narrative, like the water pressure thing. Uh, and that's not very like super, I would say it's like super creative to, on that level. That's like basic, right? That's very basic. But this anime is that, um, yeah, all the characters were very much like, I suppose, like the, like the bad guys in Black Clover, like the filler guys in Black Clover. Would you just have like a uh, fire bolt? Yeah, they have sense practice at them. Not very interesting. And Black Clover gets away with that because the cats that do that are always like the filler characters in the, the glitter filler episodes where Asta or someone has to fight some, you know, some random bandits or, you know, some backstory and this is some random filler mages that you just have like, you know, Icicle spell, yeah. And those are boring in Black Clover too, but that's clearly not in the, in the manga. And the anime is very short, right? And I'll say it's long here, but this feels like an episode one to have that kind of like filler, filler guys in episode one, and or, and even and they, they aren't even filler, right? Like one of them seems to be like a prominent character in both the opening and the ending. Like he's the leader of them and so on. He's also doing like you know projectile, I, yeah, like he's doing the same magic. Um, yeah, I don't know. He didn't pique my interest. It, it really didn't. Uh, Let's from like a magical combat standpoint. It, it looked the best part was definitely that he's. When he was just martial art them, when he was beating them up, you know, by, yeah, by punching them, yeah. When he went in there and, and really took them down, that felt like the best part to me. But he, you know, did some martial art stuff, right? You know, that that kind of stuff, that, that looked the best to me. And looked, uh, this decographer was pretty, pretty good, I think, generally. And it looked more interesting. He's, like, he's been training to just fight, right? Not just to be magic. And these other mage guys, he can't fight, so he just beat them up easily. That, I think, was the best thing. Um, but yeah. The magic system is so one didn't interest me at all. Of course, it could be a lot better. Maybe I'm missing out, right? Maybe it's completely much more advanced. But it really, it really didn't look good at all um, for episode one. It was, it was, that was weak. The, the magic was, was 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 pretty weak, yeah. Uh, and generally, imagine it's early, right? But generally, how they were constructing the the graphics, so to speak, the who, the color scheme, uh, the, the kind of like background and so on. 
that felt like the 90s. That felt like I'm watching like Trigun and people, yeah, like just the, the kind of how, um, I don't know how to explain it, but like it, look, it looks very pale or kind of, kind of bland, yeah. In like the, it's not very, you know, it's, it's not very sparkly, but yeah, it's not very sparkly. It's not very, yeah, it's just kind of, it's kind of there in the background. And that looks really like how they, how they used to do it in, in the 90s or early 2000. Uh, and that's more like a quality thing. Um, because uh, back in the days, it was just hard, you know, big, you know to compare to today, right? To produce that kind of uh, lens stuff and so on, and uh, the day with art. So it just looks, looks worse, right? So on a basic level, it looks worse. It's the same thing if you look at like One Piece of the right. One Piece right now, Banu looks amazing uh, from like a color scheme and who. And if you compare to that, how it used to be in the early, you know, One Piece from the 90s, right? In the old One Piece, yeah, that it looked. It looks okay for its art style and the frame and so on, but like the, the colorization and so on, it's pretty, it's pretty bland, right? Yeah, it, it, one is amazing, but even before one, it looked better than it used to do in, in the first seasons of One Piece because it's really, really old, right? And then during, I think it's during Ennis Lobby or so, they had like a really high upgrade, I feel, in One Piece. Uh, and that was that really good, yeah, during Ennis Lobby. And then it was like 400 episodes of the same thing. And then it gets worse and worse, basically, like less and less body, and then volume will arrive, they look a lot better. But it's a big difference there between uh, somewhere around Alabasta, also, but especially in this lobby compared to the beginning of One Piece, because it's like those years. And then you know, talking, that you're talking about, you know, the quality of the animators or the studio and, or the money, it's more like you can, uh, you, One Piece is a good example, right? So many episodes, you can really see the beginning of One Piece and the middle of One Piece and the current One Piece is how. Art, the computer stuff, that you know, everything is technology being better, right? Yeah, and this anime they have better technology clearly, but they are they are trying, I guess, to emulate kind of the old school ninety vibe with the first re the first uh, version of it, I guess, uh, was dropped, right? That's how it felt to me. Like I took a step back into the 20, 20 years time travel back. And, and I didn't like it at all, honestly. <laughs> From and I said in my other video, I'm an art director, right? Even though I don't do much art, I don't like draw myself, but I do, you know, direction of art. And I didn't like it at all. It felt like just just bland to me. Yeah, it's kind of like if you see I go to Ramsey episode and he's eating, you know, at some restaurant, right? They have some money troubles, and it's like, eh, it's okay, the food. But it's kind of boring, it's kind of bland. It's, I mean, you can eat it, but it's pretty okay. And then the older is like, oh, but I've done this for 40 years of my life. And uh, what would I change? Right? He's like, well, yes, but 40 years ago, this might have been fresh in America, but now it's really boring. Like, now everyone can do this kind of food, and the restaurant has improved, you know, and touched upon that for the last 40 years. And now it's much different and, and better. The restaurant, you, have, you haven't changed 40 years. That's not a good example. You were good 40 years ago, yeah. That's how this feels to me a bit. It really feels like I took a time travel back, and it's like, man, it looks too pretty bland. And the kids, I hated them, yeah. They were like these annoying bad characters that you never liked 20 years ago either. And it really felt like I took 20 years in the past, and I didn't like it at all. Uh, in that sense. I mean, I think the storyline was pretty decent, but it's like, the, yeah, the graphics and so on, and the art was like, and the, and the, char the characters, yeah, Ugh. and the fighting style. I saw it massively negative, but I probably would give it like a 4 or a 5 or so. I wouldn't give it like a 0. You know, it's no King's game, right? Yeah, I mean, it's not like a... I mean, I could see myself watching this anime and probably like enjoy it decently. But uh, from like an art standpoint, I definitely dislike it from like a graphical art standpoint. That is that very low score for me for that in that very, very low score. Uh, the writing and so on, the dragon thing. Maybe it's good, maybe it's bad. I still the more that I feel to kind of get a good... Uh, but at the same time, though, seeing that how everyone was so boring with the magic stuff in the beginning doesn't give me much confidence, honestly, in the um, in like the you know future fights and so on. But I might be dead wrong, or maybe has really good fight strides when get into it potentially. Uh, but right now, I'm just like. Uh, so anyway, that's my first impression. The, felt pretty harsh. But this is honestly probably the anime I have the least interest in watching more of uh, so far this season. It was, it was it was really boring from a art standpoint at least it looked tremendously boring uh, but yeah that's it probably some dislikes now but i'm, I'm one so yeah